let y'all know right now, these are all oldies, but they're all still goodies. Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, or welcome back. My name is Mo, and this is my channel, Sketch So Mo. In today's video, I wanted to hop on this community tag and share with you my five handmade essentials. This tag was started by Sarah from Naughty Gnome Crafts, and her channel is amazing. It's all about how to style a handmade wardrobe. So the five essential categories include an essential top, an essential bottom, an essential one piece, an essential piece of outerwear, and one essential wild card. I'm gonna share mine now, let's get into it. So first up, I have my tried and testy Butter It 5526. It's actually the shirt I'm wearing now, and this is a great classic button down shirt. The view that I'm wearing right now is view B, right here. And you can make this shirt in a lot of variety of ways. Um, you can make it the classic as is, a dressier style with frills, the style with the princess seams, and a longer tunic style. So all around great pattern. essential bottom now this is McCall 6706 it is a skirt pattern I'm not a skirt girly but anyone I've ever made this pattern for has loved it and I'll throw some pictures up just so that way you can see them I've made this skirt in variety of different fabrics I've made it in the silk I've made it in quilting cotton I've made it in Ankara um, just all around great with the style lines you can make it in stripes you can contrast the fabric, mix and match prints, solid colors, make it fancy, make it casual, throw some sneakers on with it, it's great. For my essential one piece, no surprise, I chose the McCall 7745. This is my all-time favorite dress out of anything I've ever made. I've made three versions of this dress. Every time I wear this dress, I get so many compliments. People ask me, where'd you get that dress? And it's just an extra oomph, and it just gives me a little extra boost just to let them know, you know, I made this, you know? So I love it, it's great. This is one pattern that I cannot live without, and I'm gonna make it many more times. The dresses that I made from this pattern, they're gonna be in my closet literally forever and I don't plan on stopping making this dress anytime soon. Mwah. If I could kiss it without putting lipstick on it, I would love this, guys. And for my essential outer layer piece, I chose the McCall 6996. It is a cardigan. This little cardigan here, I've made it quite a few times. Um, I can wear the cardigan with over dresses that I made, dresses that I bought, shirts, tank tops, t-shirts, you name it, you can throw this cardigan on with it. There's no frills, there's no bells and whistles, nothing crazy on this pattern. This one is just a great piece to add, especially over dresses. And finally, for my essential wild card, I chose the Savannah Shacket by Mood. That pattern is so versatile. And the first time I made it, I kid you not, I did not take it off for weeks. Probably TMI, but that's okay. It was cozy. I made a few modifications to it because the pattern itself didn't look like the line drawing. So for that one, I added some volume to the sleeves and then I also put the pleat on the back just to make it look more like the line drawing. Thank you for watching the video today, guys. I really enjoyed making this one. This one was a lot of fun. Just taking some time thinking about the patterns that I've made and the pieces that I get the most wear out of. And I do want to tag four additional creators and I'm going to tag their information down below in the description box. I hope they'll participate even though they probably have no idea who I am, which is fine. That's fine. I'm a total noob here on the tube. Sorry, total YouTube newbie. Well, that's a wrap for now, beautiful people. I hope y'all enjoyed my five handmade essentials. Let me know down in the comments, what are your five handmade essentials? Or what are just some of your all-time favorite patterns? I'd love to know. 
until next time y'all take care